Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is a remake of a DIY wand video that I made a while ago. I wanted to do an updated version, so let's get started. You will need a blank piece of paper, a hot glue gun, scissors, a small paintbrush, a thin paintbrush for any small details, acrylic paint of your choice, you have total creative control and can use whatever colors you want. A few suggestions are black, brown, gray, green, and light brown. For the details, again, a few suggestions are metallic gold or silver. And if you don't have any paint, nail polish would be great to use. Lastly, for the wand base, you can use a single chopstick, pencil, or a small tapered paintbrush you don't use anymore. If you're using an unsharpened pencil, then you'll also need a pencil sharpener. Starting off with the pencil version, if you're using an unsharpened pencil, go ahead and sharpen it just until the graphite starts to appear. Then using the scissors, cut off the tip of the pencil to make it flat. I sharpened mine a bit too much, but I'll fix that later. Now, place the pencil onto one point of the paper and practice rolling the pencil in the paper to create a cone shape. This way, you get a sense of exactly how you'll be rolling the paper before you make it permanent. Also, how you roll the paper will determine how thick or thin your wand will be. I start on the edge, then roll upwards on a curve. It's an odd rolling method, but it works. Once you're ready to make it permanent, add some hot glue onto the center of the pencil and roll it in the paper. Pull the paper tightly to make sure it's securely wrapped around the pencil, then add a drop of hot glue and glue it down. Next, find where the pencil ends and determine how long you want the wand to be. Then cut off the excess. Here's a wand I've made previously, and as you can see, the wand I just made is just a tiny bit shorter. Now hold the wand by the pencil side, not the cone part, and fill the cone with hot glue. Wait a few minutes for the glue to set. If you find that the glue has caved in a little, simply fill the space with more hot glue. Once the glue has cooled completely, you can now make a design on the wand. For this previous wand, I made a vine-like design by adding hot glue to the wand as I rotated it. For this wand, I wanted to keep it simple, so I added two rings of hot glue by rotating the wand as I glued. After a few seconds, the glue should be set. Then you can paint the wand with a small paintbrush and a color of your choosing. I'm painting mine black because it's a dark color so I don't need to apply multiple coats. If you're using a lighter color, you may need to apply two or more coats depending on how light the color is. To finish up painting the entire wand, I set it down on the excess paper from earlier, then continued painting the rest of the wand. Once it was dry, I realized the pencil was too sharp, so I cut off more of the tip and shaved the pencil down a bit. Then repainted it and let it dry. Lastly, you can leave the wand as a solid color or make the details stand out more. Using a thin paintbrush, carefully paint the details. I painted mine silver because I liked how it looked against the black. Then I cleaned up the brush and dipped it in black to paint over any areas where I got silver paint on. I also use this to clean up the edges of the design. Now the wand is finished. For the chopstick version, add hot glue a little above the center of the chopstick, place it on one point of the paper, and roll it upwards on a curve. 
Same steps as the pencil version, only this time I placed the paper vertically as I rolled. Pull the paper to make sure it's securely wrapped, then add a drop of hot glue and glue it down. Decide the length of your wand, then cut off the excess. As you can see, I made this wand longer. Next, hold it by the chopstick end and fill the cone with hot glue. Let it cool completely, then add any design you want. I didn't want a design for this one, so I skipped ahead to painting. Again, I painted the entire wand using black paint. This wand was definitely the easiest to make and I love the way it turned out. For the paintbrush version, the process is the same as the chopstick, just make sure that the brush part is rolled in the paper so it's hidden inside. I found once it was rolled up all the way, the wand looked thicker than I wanted, so I ended up rolling it to the thickness I wanted, then cut off the excess paper. Next, I would glue down this entire edge using hot glue or a glue stick. Then cut off the excess paper and you know how the rest goes. So that's how to make an easy one-of-a-kind wand. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.